Hi, everybody. I'm Carl from Imagination Station in Toledo, Ohio. This month's Just Tinkering activity is making toothbrush bots, something like this. We're going to show you how you can make these using some simple things that we have in the kits available for our members. Or if you're not a member, we have a shopping list down below to show you how to create your own toothbrush bot. This is part of our monthly Just Tinkering series where we shoot out a tinkering activity for you to do at home. And like I said, if you're a member, we provide a kit of essential supplies. And if not, well, there's an Amazon shopping list down below where you can actually pick up what you need. So let's get started with how to build a toothbrush bot. Okay, before we get to actually building our toothbrush bot, we're gonna go back a little bit in time. And you may be familiar with these sorts of like vibration bots or toys. What's really cool about them is they have this offset weight in the front that rotates. So when I crank this up, that offset weight sort of makes the whole thing a little bit bouncy, wiggly, jiggly. I don't know what you want to call that. And it sort of moves around. And that's the essence of what we're going to do with our toothbrush bots. But we're not going to use the mechanical structure. We're going to use something electronic, OK? So again, these have been around for a while. We're going to update it with, instead of a mechanical structure like this, we're going to use, where'd it go? Right here. We're going to use the vibrating motor that you might find inside a pager or a cell phone, any sort of electronics these days. It's a tiny little motor. And so this will be included in your kit along with a battery to power it up, a toothbrush, some uh, pipe cleaners for stabilizers, a little bit of uh, double-sided tape to sort of put things together, and the most crucial element, wiggly eyes or googly eyes, depending on how you want to talk about it, to add a little character to your uh, structure as well. So let's get started with assembling all this on our toothbrush. So let's start assembling our brush bot. The first thing we're going to do is look at our toothbrush. The kit we provide has a, a toothbrush with a nice flat bristle structure, which we tend to find works a little bit better than others. But don't let that stop you from trying other kinds of toothbrushes. Especially if you have an old toothbrush as well, give it a try. You know, what the heck. Sometimes the bristles with the little uh, scrubbers inside can be tricky to work with. But again, you know, work with what you have or use what's in the kit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off the handle of the toothbrush. So you can do this with like a, a hacksaw, a, a pair of uh, wire cutters like this. Depending on your toothbrush, you might even be able to just bend it with your fingers. However you do it, just be careful that things don't go flying in the wrong direction. So what I'm going to do is hold both sides here. I'm just going to use my, my wire cutters. I'm going to snap that, capture the piece. It doesn't go flying across the room. Everybody's safe. And now we have our basic structure for our bot. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the vibrating motor. Now, if you look at your vibrating motor, you might notice there are two different wires coming off of it. One's red, one's blue. And on your battery, one side is labeled positive, and the other side is unlabeled. That's the negative side. So what we're going to do is we're just going to test out our battery and motor before we assemble anything. I'm going to just, with my fingers, hold the wires in place, make sure that, oh yeah, I can feel it. You can see it's vibrating there. So our battery's good and our motor is good. Next step, attach the motor to the body of the bot. And you can do this however you want. I like to think of this part as sort of the head of the bot. So I'm just going to peel off the adhesive tape that is on the bottom of the motor. Be careful not to break the wires. And then I'm just going to attach that right to the front of the bot. Give it a good squish because that motor is going to be vibrating and you want it to hold on tight. OK, next thing we need to do is attach the battery to the bot. But we need to do it in a way that allows the battery to be secure, but also still make electrical contact with the wire. So in your kit, we've provided some double-sided foam tape. The stuff is great. I've sort of prepped it a little bit by peeling away the top layer. And what I'm going to do is take off a square. And then I want to capture one of the wires between the battery and the tape. So my plus side, I got my plus wire. 
right there. Just gonna make sure, oops, this is tiny wires. Can be a little bit tricky, have a little patience. So I'm just gonna put this right on there. And now I've captured the wire. I can now pull away the rest of the tape, like that, and attach it to the top of our bot, just like that. Give it a good press, give it a test to see how stable it is. Oops. So we're gonna fix that in the future. We've added some weight at the top, and so our bot could fall over. Depends on how you arrange things, but just you know, give it a try. So now, in order to get our bot to move, I need to connect that wire to the top. I'm not gonna use the super sticky tape because it's gonna be hard to turn on and off. I'm gonna reach for my masking tape or my clear tape, get a piece, because this can come on and off easily, so I, can, I have a switch for my bot. And so I'll just take a piece of this, put it on top, we'll test it out. Look at that, she moves nicely, look at that. Now, you saw how it fell over before, come back. We're gonna address that problem using pipe cleaners. We're gonna add some stabilizers to our bot just behind the vibrating motor to prevent exactly what just happened there. So one way you can do this is you could use the double-sided tape. I'm gonna turn this off to save our battery here. Let's turn this off. One way you could do that is using the double-sided tape or scotch tape. I like to use hot glue. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you should pick up one. It's a great tool for your tinkering arsenal. You can do a lot of stuff with it. I'm gonna get my hot glue gun out, warmed up, and I'll show you how to add the stabilizers as well as what I think gives it great personality, the googly eyes. Okay, so we'll be right back. I've got my well-used hot glue gun warmed up and ready to go. And as always, when working with hot glue, remember, the glue is hot. Don't touch it with your finger. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna sort of line things up to show you. I wanna add a glob of glue sort of right here in the middle between our vibrating motor and the battery. And then before I do that, I'm gonna sort of prep my pipe cleaners to get them kind of a little bit, a little bit angled, not too much. I still wanna be able to fit them on there, but I wanna just kinda of push them right into the, the drop of hot glue. So here we go. I'm gonna just add a, a generous glob of glue there and then take one of my pieces, bring it in. And you know, don't worry too much about exactly the placement, as long as they kind of touch the ground, you can always trim them, you can always adjust them. And if you run out of hot glue, like I did, you can add another drop on top. And I'm going, I'm going for three legs just because I had three prepared. You could stop at two. And again, that's the beauty of the tinkering thing is that you can, you can make it however you want. Don't be constrained with what I'm doing here. Okay, so the hot glue is gonna set up. While that's sitting there and cooling off, I think, just to show you a different technique, now we could use hot glue to attach the, the wiggly eyes, but I'm gonna reach for my double-sided foam tape, just cause. We're gonna give it a try and see how it works. And what I'll do is just head to the front, wrap my tape around, and I've already prepared it with peeling off the other side to make it easy. And now, it's as easy as just just as easy as popping in two different sized wiggly eyes or more, depending on what you're thinking. This could be a triops or it could be a nose, I don't know. Okay, so we've got our bot sort of set up. I'm gonna set it aside to let that hot glue set up for just a second and we'll be back to test it out. Okay, we've let the hot glue set up our bot is nearly complete. All we have to do now is actually test it out. Again, we're gonna complete the circuit by bringing this wire down and using a piece of tape to start the vibrating motor. Before we do that, one word of caution. These little coin cell batter batteries can look like candy. So if you have young kids around, um, make sure that you know there's adult supervision so that nobody is like eating Quite frankly, any of the parts, the, the wiggly eyes, the battery, the tape, anything like that. So some adult supervision would be helpful. So I'm gonna just now tape. And of course, 
now that I do this, I realize how ugly this masking tape looks. You could probably do better with a, a different decorative sticker, perhaps, or you know, adjust your tape. But there we go. We've got our toothbrush bot wiggling, jiggling, and moving. So that's the basic idea. Build a circuit, get the vibrating motor on there, maybe add some stabilizers. You're doing a little engineering to make it more stable. Now, if you want to take this to the next level, there's no reason you have to stop with a brush that's a toothbrush. You could step up to a bathroom cleaning brush like this. I'll move my, this guy over here. And so we've done essentially the same thing. This is a, a highly decorative uh, creature here with lots of stuff, but the essentials are still here. We've got a battery in the middle right there. We've got a motor on the top, a much bigger motor that has been hot glued securely. And we have a weight that can spin. So if I complete the circuit with my jumper wires here, let's see what happens. Whoa, yeah. Okay. A much, much, much more vigorous bot than we have. Oh, look at this guy's dancing off to the side. He's doing like some, some crazy dance there. He got, <laughs> so. But you get the idea, right? You, you can, and then you can decorate them with all sorts of things. This is almost like a, some sort of chicken. Or if you wanna get, you know, get even bigger, you can get something like this that moves a little bit slower, but with maybe a little bit more oomph because it's got a lot more mass in it. Now, with these larger motors, do be careful. Let me stop this one for a second to show you what we did here. We actually just took a piece of hot glue stick and shoved it onto the axis of the motor the shaft of the motor. Now you do have to be careful. When this thing starts spinning, if it flies off and hits you, you know, take precautions. Wear your safety glasses, um, make sure it's on there securely before attempting a larger bot with a heavy spinning structure on it. But you can have a lot of fun with these things. They're, they're really cool. If you make something interesting, you know, oh, it's like they're battling now. I mean, <laughs> but he's okay. Uh, you know, share it with us. Let us know in the comments down below what you've built. If you have any questions, reach out to us and have fun tinkering. So for Imagination Station, I'm Carl. Uh, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and subscribe down below and we will see you next month. Bye.